Hi and welcome to CX Today. I'm Sandra, technology journalist, and today I'm joined by Servi Rathor, co-founder and CEO of Symbol AI. Welcome, Servi. How are you doing today? Hey, Sandra. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. I'm good. No problem at all. So in this video, we'll be discussing building programmable agent coaching experiences and how Symbol can help organizations achieve just that. Mm -hmm. So survey to start things off um could you explain where organizations struggle um when it comes to customer interaction data yeah absolutely um I mean, traditionally, agent coaching experiences have been mainly applied to call centers, uh, but we are seeing now with the evolution of how the remote culture has changed, how companies are building agent uh, offices or support centers, or even uh, hiring salespeople sitting at their home and dialing in from their own houses. It is uh, so important uh, to ensure that the customer interaction that happens through these various touch points are captured understood, analyzed, not just historically, but also in real time. But it's really impracticable impracticable to put kind of like a coach, an actual person like it used to be on the floors, now in homes of people, uh, which is why we are, we are seeing software products, CRM, call center products getting evolved by adding capabilities where you could do this remotely uh, and do this using machine learning and AI uh, so that understanding how customer conversations happens at all touch points, whether it's audio, video, email, or chats, you can monitor and suggest recommendations to those agents in real time that will help them improve the customer experience then. Because not having customer interaction data directly leads to not understanding why the customer interaction is changing in your business or experience is downgrading, which results into churn and loss of revenue without knowing how to fix it. So capturing customer interaction data becomes so, so much crucial. And not just on the call data, but also every single touch point that your customer has had historically and at any digital channels. And now we are doing all that interaction at digital channels. Like initially it wasn't possible. Um, people would still have a lot of in-person, like from a sales perspective, they would still do a lot of in-person meetings. And all of a sudden, the world became digital. And the one thing that it gave us is the access to data. So yeah, that's uh, a little bit about why and how interaction data is captured and gets struggled. So I'm sure many people will uh, ask the question, uh, why do we need uh, programmability in agent coaching experiences? So why is it so important? Yeah, um, you know, we are, uh, the world is adapting to the needs of uh, people and individuals, but the needs of the people, individuals and businesses are also changing every single day. We are not in the same world as we were three years back, where defining a cold call script, giving that input of the cold call script to the platform and adhering to that script will help you result into, you know, a great coaching experience. Uh, based on your demographic of the persona that you're targeting, whether you're talking to a Gen Z or are you talking to an elderly, whether your customer uh, requires to you to be empathetic and inclusive in conversations, which I think we all should, regardless of who the customer is, um, or whether they require you to be smart and intelligent and crisp and direct because they don't have time, the characteristics of how you converse with the customer can evolve so rapidly. And what we see today will be different of what we see in the next six months. And it's very hard for rigid products to keep up to the pace at which the industry and our behavior is evolving as humans. This is where programmability comes into picture, which also gives the power for every business to make their coaching experience unique and differentiated. Because if we all follow and coach our agents in the same way, how do we create differentiation in that customer experience? And at the end of the day, like we can all solve the problem, but we're all humans and we buy products from humans. And we want to ensure that that experience leaves an impression of the business and builds the brand of the business in a way that customers come back to you. This is where programmability comes into picture uh, because we want to make sure that you as a business owner has the power and has all the tools to be able to create that differentiated experience that is going to 
help your business grow in these times where one day the Nasdaq is crashing and the other day we are seeing like such massive turn down of uh, uh, events, which boils my heart. So yeah, all of that. Yeah. And um, about the role of conversational intelligence. So how important it is in um, enabling customers with customizations? Yeah. You know, even if we don't look at like the technology, AI, machine learning, which has now evolved to make all of this more efficient and faster. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Conversation intelligence fundamentally has been a science of understanding human behavior and uh, the characteristics by just conversation data, whether it's the tone of the way that you talk, uh, whether it is the content, the context of how you are talking and where you are talking, or even the your body language, like the way that I am communicating now with my hands, which I always do. Uh, so all these different context parameters have been studied for years as a science to understand uh, what is conversation intelligence. And only now technology has caught up to the state uh, of the art where we can actually use NLP, use NLU and build uh, systems uh, that can understand conversations. Also, given that now speech recognition um, has re is reaching critical adoption, is that it is now possible to accurately transcribe using AI ML uh, tools and not using actual scribers. So given all of these changes and advancements and that accelerated growth of adoption of technology that we are seeing over the past couple of years, it is possible to now use AI ML to power the conversation intelligence that you need in the products. Uh, and that's why it's important to build it in a way that it is contextual. It is uh, built for conversations, which is what the science is built for uh, using traditional NLP tools that is for document data or general text data would not work here because conversations are highly unstructured. They are temporal in nature. They're associated with a timeline. Uh, they're also very chaotic, sometimes done without a goal. Uh, sometimes you will get a call within the call center and there are going to be multiple goals and not one goal. Uh, so adapting to the way the conversation evolves as we are talking and learning from it and being able to interpret the recommendations to guide to make those conversations better is the science behind conversation intelligence and what uh, the technology is able to do is bring it without people bring it with ai and machine learning to make it more cost effective amazing and finally um could you share some details on um what actually differentiates the ai for coaching that can be built with symbol yeah so yeah. we really believe in personalization of uh, ai and machine learning and coaching is an area where like i said one size never fits all it's really hard that you would coach one person in the same way as the other person because their needs of coaching is different I would be great in empathy, but my listening skills might not be great. The other person would be great with subject matter expertise, but they would need help with empathy. And all these can be configured very easily by the business that is actually building that experience uh, and can be tailored and personalized to the person that is receiving that coaching experience. Today, we are seeing coaching. A lot of use cases are around call centers. Uh, it's getting evolved into sales and CRM, uh, because even sales agents and AEs and SDRs require that coaching experience um, remotely uh, and in real time. Because when you, if you lose customer attention at that moment, it's gone. The deal never comes back. But we are also seeing coaching experiences extended to so many other verticals, like interviews, uh, like uh, Gen Zs, and for mental health. Um, so what Symbol provides is a platform where all these different verticals and use cases can extract the characteristics of conversations, identify these characteristics of how it applies to their business that relates to either NPS or retention or growth, and then apply that personalization that they need in their product to create that differentiated customer experience that they are building. And that's the platform that we provide. So we are not biased to a specific use case or a persona or an experience. 
we give you the tools uh, in order to re- truly understand the context of conversation, the characteristics, and use it to make every conversation better. Fantastic. Thank, uh, thank you for your insightful answer, Serbi, and thank you for he- being here today. Thanks, Sandra. Yeah, I'm really excited to see the new experiences that will get built for every single B2B SaaS product, how we, they will take advantage of all the interaction data in their applications and build the differentiated experiences that their customers would love and stay and grow with. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this conversation, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next video.